Welcome back. I'm Chan Chan, the tech man. Thank you for tuning in. Got a new story for you today. Uh, let's see what show this uh, ad here, but uh, nothing I can do about that. Uh, anyway, uh, got a new story for you about Disney. Um, it is no secret that they have... Uh, done a lot of uh, horrible, bad, horrible decisions lately. Marvel, um, well, everything they bought, they <laughs> did a bad, uh, uh, just made some bad decisions about it. Uh, they, Star Wars, they've ruined Star Wars. Uh, they uh, messed up on Marvel, and, uh, and with this, uh, this, global thing that's going around and it's hurt them hurt them even more they had to shut down all of their parks and all of this everything so basically the only income they had was from, was from dvd sales digital sales and their disney plus and the theaters has been shut down and this is they are in full panic mode uh disney is uh well you can see what this says uh, their direct to consumer streaming service Disney Plus failed to attract paying subscribers and uh, is projected to cost the company 1.1 billion in the third quarter alone making matters worse the continued reaction uh, to this has uh, nuked their revenue generation uh, uh, that's what I was talking about. This is forcing the company to make one billion, to take on billions in debt just to cover operations. Um, they should have uh, just signed a deal with Netflix to put all their stuff. Well, they already signed a deal with Netflix, so they had it signed. And um, they should have kept that deal and not start their Disney Plus. Um, uh, I have not subscribed to it. I guess it might be okay, um, especially the older stuff. But uh, they probably should have not started. Uh, I don't know. Else, uh, evidently, they've they've lost money on it. But this, if they keep with it, may, they might get, make some money. But that's a whole lot of money to to make it up. And um, so this company is in full panic mode. I, I imagine they are. And so there's concerns whether the parks will be able to remain open as Florida, Florida continues to generate uh, spurious numbers. That's not the worst of the company's newfound woes. As everyone is aware by now, Twitter got hacked. It is unknown how long the mysterious Kurt had access to Twitter's administration tools, but the gravest concern is that the real intention of the operation was to hijack DMS, the direct messaging server. And, uh, so this is uh, my opinion as a mild-mannered supervillain, but if I call any of my minions posting sensitive information on a platform that uh, the feds didn't have to work hard to get access to. Well, let's just say they wouldn't have an heat off. In other words, they said it's kind of their fault maybe for posting stuff in the Twitter DMs because uh, they should know it's kind of shouldn't do sensitive information under, and I agree with that. Um, Got a, all the personal messages ever sent to on the platform. Users may delete them, but companies keep them for their records. And uh, this the legal team has advised effective members to delete their Twitter accounts that uh, to what uh, desired effect is unknown. Since for the sensitive information they don't want out is already out there. So, in other words, there was some sensitive information they got and told them uh, deleting it after it happened is not going to 
how. Oh, even if it deleted, it'd still be in the Twitter systems. Hmm. Huh. And well, that's a uh, not sounds like it's not good news for uh, Disney, and uh, and it appears that they had some sensitive information and they told everybody to delete their uh, Twitters and uh, Ryan Johnson deleted his Twitter account and uh, when I last uh, saw it uh, it was deleted but uh, you don't know if he might bring it back up I don't know or he uh, at least uh, privated it but I think he deleted it his Twitter account uh, you can correct me in the comments um, See, uh, made a statement to the Justice Department was fully aware several members of the CCP were working for Disney Shanghai uh, management. Some with, uh, ooh, that's, uh, let's see what this is. Let us see. Well, Disney. I think it's China uh, Communist Party. Let's see. Uh, I think it's the Chinese Communist Party. Yeah, Chinese Communist Party. Ooh, so uh, the members of the Chinese Communist Party, the party now, that's not talking about people in China, but members of the party. In other words, they're way in the party, they're way up in the party, and work for the Disney Shanghai. Um, people that was in, in other words, in the government uh, in China was working for Disney Shanghai. And uh, with some proudly proclaiming their allegiance, sitting on their desk. I'm not going to read that. Um, you can pause that if you want to read this. Um, it would be okay. Uh, the report will take legal action against Disney and where um, or any DMs take it. So that's that's interesting. Very interesting, though. Continue to pursue the accounts confirm to all of them. I'm, I'm just reading what this says. For up to eight of the Twitter accounts involved, the uh, attackers took the digital steps to download the account's information to your Twitter uh, data tool. So they uh, downloaded all of it. So uh, that doesn't look good for Disney. They uh, are clearly in full panic mode. I said, uh, and then there's another uh, article about it encouraged individuals to delete Twitter accounts after a recent Twitter hack. And um, I don't know what that has to do with. Oh, uh, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a, oh, and I said that. It, this was an example so they posted on his. Uh, it was a scam, trying to scam people, a Bitcoin scam. And uh, I hope people would, uh, would already know about that. Uh, so I hope nobody got hurt in that. And uh, so this is a pretty serious thing. And obviously, Disney uh, had some stuff uh, shared in the DMs they did not want out. And uh, <laughs> like I said, I don't think it helped, though, because they already got it. And uh, so uh, if there's any more details on this story, I will let you know. So, go here it is. Uh, 
they may have damaging information in their direct messages. And at least one individual of significant stature has elected to do so. Um, like I said, Ryan Johnson deletes his Twitter. So why would he delete it if, uh, here's a picture there, so he deleted Why would he delete it if he didn't have anything to worry about? Uh, so it's clearly he had something. Here's another one. He deleted that. So clearly uh, something happened. And I mean, he had some stuff to worry about. So I just wanted to share this story. It's pretty interesting. I've shared other stuff about Disney. And uh, so thank you for tuning in. I'm Chan Chan, the tech man. I hope you got some uh, enjoyment out of this and uh, some news. And uh, just keep tuning in. Subscribe to my YouTube channel. I encourage you to do that. Uh, like this video, my other videos. And uh, go to my website, chansmith.me. The link will be in the description of this video. And uh, the link to my YouTube channel is on my website. And if you want to donate, the link is on my website too. Appreciate it. Help me uh, get uh, more stuff for streaming, uh, make my streaming look nicer. So I appreciate that. And um, get this uh, let's switch to anywhere you go, you got ads. So uh, I appreciate it if you donate. And um, until next time, I'm Chan Chan the Tech.